uh, let's discuss about user exception and uh, chained exception. So first we will start with the user exception. Exceptions. Let's create. Let's create a new class. Which class is void, main, and then finish. So let's create a user exception first. As we have discussed in the previous session, uh, to create a user exception, we need to extend the class has to extend the main exception class, and we need to override the two string method. So let's see, class my exception extends. Exception class. Okay, this is the first step. And then I will say public string to string method. And I have to return because we are overriding and the return type is string. I need to return something. Okay, here I would say. User exception. This is how we create our own user exception. Now I need to call this user exception. In my code writing here, whenever there is an exception that I feel that I need to throw, that should be uh, sent to the user. Uh, this is my exception that I have created. So this is how we create my exception. Now for the chained exception, let's go something in detail and write that. Uh, let me send some details. So private uh, in detail and then I will create a constructor my exception that is default constructor and then in here I will pass the input argument that is in a and then here I will say detail is equal to a so here whatever this detail value is have a Control A, Control Shift F for the formatting. Okay, so this is my uh, user exceptions. Now, if I want to create chained exceptions, chained exceptions as we just discussed, one exception, and then we have some uh, exception which is uh, which we think that this first exception is caused by the second exception. That is using throwable one argument and throwable two input arguments. And then you, we can, uh, and it also provides get cause and init cause method so that we know what exactly the cause is. So for that, we would be creating, um, let's just create uh, two methods. For instance, I would just say that, uh, let me create, for example, I'll create one method which throws the user exception that I've created, my exception, and then an another method which in turn throws and in internal method itself that is in testing user accept, user exception and then which in again throws back my user exception so so that i can see uh, the main cause of what is the exception that is causing for that we would be creating three methods so public static y method one throws which exception it is giving me my exception option, so let me do this. Throws and say control space because I have only one user exception. It is giving me this option automatically because we have created user exception and it knows it is an exception because we have extended the class. Okay, so this is one method. So this method will be calling in another method, say two. Let me just scroll. I just have to create method 2. Okay. And then this will also throw my exception. And this will call another method 3. Now this third exception, third method that I am uh, creating will throw my exception and it will throw the new my exception ok 
Mm -hmm. I need to file some argument. I would say, uh, or in instead of integer, let me just say string. String. I don't. And uh, here I would say. Third, three. Okay, control A, control G, and a little comment. Okay, now I've created method one, which is to, which throws the user exception, and it calls method two. Method two internally calls method three, and method three throws a new uh, user exception. Now from this main method, I'll be calling the method one. So method one. Okay, so if I call method one, method one is throwing exception. Now I need to catch it using try or catch block and add throws declaration. So I would say add try or catch block. And in the catch block, it is giving me an option automatically my exception because I need to catch this my user exception because this is throwing my exception. Uh, this method is throwing my exceptions. Uh, okay, and then. Okay, and then from here I would be saying here I need to print out so, so I'm catching my exception and here I need to print something. So I would say E dot. Now these are the options that I get. As we discussed, uh, it provides uh, the throwable provides two met two methods in specific for us get cause. Get cause returns the cause of this throwable or null if the cause is non existent or unknown. Okay, I would say get cause. Okay, uh, let me just say this and set out so that we can differentiate. Uh, this is the cause. Okay, and this is out. Is to string method. Let's say e dot to string method because we have over oh because we did override the to string method over here. Okay. And what else do we have? E dot. We have init cause. What is the cause? So it initializes the cause of this throwable to the specified value. This cause is a throwable that cause is throwable to get thrown. This method can be called at most once. It is generally called from within the constructor or immediately after creating the throwable. So this is the description of it. If you can click on it, you can see more information and it even gives us an example. Okay, so in the catch block, we can say throw. When we are throwing, we would say dot in it of the cause. Okay, so here, as it was giving this, when I would say throw new, I would say dot. So here, I can say dot in it cause. Whatever the exception is. Actually, I am throwing. Okay, mm, let me just run this. Run as Java application. Okay, here this is saying me I am catching this my exception. When I click on it, my exception or my exception is applied. That is the console. I am catching my exception here. And this is the cause because it says if it is unknown, sometimes it would give it as option as null. So it has given us null. And then the two string that we have mentioned, uh, in the two string method, this is the user exception and the detail is from the method 3. See, we haven't called method 3, but when we call method 1, it internally did call 2 and 2 call 3. So here it's saying user exception from method 3, from the detail. And then, when we say e dot print stack trace, it is giving us this. So this is user exception from method three. 
and then at this particular Java files and this is the line 34, 29, 25 and 12. So this is the output that we get. So this is how we write the chain exceptions and user exceptions. I hope this tutorial is helpful. Um, so for, as per this tutorial, we are done with the exceptions. We have defined uh, what is an exception, how to declare an exception, how to create a user exception, what are the different ways to handle an exception and what are the different keywords that Java provided us. Um, so this is the end of the tutorial for the exceptions. Uh, please refer to my other tutorials for some other uh, Java concepts. Thank you.